Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna check in with Mez Fletcher, someone I introduced on this channel two years ago as Australia's next generational reefing guru. And I wanna check back in with her, see how she's going with her tanks, and see what her plans are for the future. Hey everyone, welcome to Parker's Reefs. I'm here checking out Mez Fletcher's incredible tanks. She's got some big news to share with us. And uh, before we get to that, she's just gonna walk us through each one of these amazing reef tanks and some of the inhabitants and equipment and things she's got. So uh, let's talk to the lady herself. Here's Mez, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Um, I'm here with my tanks again. Um, they're, I don't know how old the last video was. We did a video. <laughs> about a year and a half ago and then about a year before that or half a year before that so yeah it's been it's at least been 12 while. months um and as you can see they've changed a lot they've they've come along there's been some problems there's been some been some good things problems um, this tank is absolutely filled to the brim and i mean uh, literally is, like the top half of this shockers. tank <laughs> <laughs> got so much coral in there, so much SBS, which is really difficult to do in a nano tank, and uh, you've got them just growing literally on top of each other. Yeah, the um, as everyone does, end up with end up with acro. <laughs> it's um, it's something we all end up dealing with, and it's definitely difficult in a nano, um, especially flow. I've found flow is a big, definitely a big thing. I've got. Two, two wave makers in this one, three in this one, yeah, I kind mean, of five in this one. You see the surface um, agitation on this uh, nano here, it's, it's a fair uh, tsunami going on in there. There's no shortage of flow. Yet still, I guess because your SPS is um, taking a lot of it, things like your LPS down here, your hammers and it's, your uh, Duncans. Yeah, that's, that's something I want to move on <laughs> from a little bit is um, super mixed. Super mixed is really really hard yeah i think people always tend to think like you know lps easy or softies lps easy mixed easy-ish sps hard sps just sps is not as hard as mix for sure <laughs> it's mixed is definitely a painful situation particularly in a nano i mean yeah. in a bigger tank you can do mixed a bit easier because you can have a high energy section and a bit of a lower energy yeah. section yeah, yeah you really only have one section yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, I'm in. surprised at how okay it's worked. Um, oh, things, okay. things like the Duncan, I'm surprised at how well it's adapted to it. It's a very, it's a very interesting looking Duncan. It looks like a torch. Yeah, it's got some real long tentacles. Hey, it just has yeah. adapted into the parameters and, and the flow and the light. And speaking of the nano tank, what, what sort of tank is this? This is an Aqua One mini reef. Yep. yep. Um, Oh, that is my first, my first reef tank. Nice. Was, this is 120 and 90? 120. 120, yep. yep. 120. So 120 litres. Um, it's roughly a two foot cube, maybe just touch under. It's a, yeah, it's two by one and a half by one and a half. Yep, yep. Um, I think the 150 is two by two by two or something. Sure. Or similar. Um, and then the frag tanks, uh, the same dimensions, just five centimetres. Um, shorter. Sure, sure. But the, sta the stand lifts it up to make them the same. Makes them look like they're uh, identical twins. And I mean, in a tank that's um, 120 litres, I mean, in your dis little nano display here, you've got probably in the vicinity of like 30 to 40 different uh, SBS in there, plus another uh, dozen or two of um, LBS in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've yeah. Definitely made the most there's, of all the real estate you've got there. There's a fair bit. Um, everything's growing into each other everything's hitting each other everything's killing each other it all looks super harmonious it's so not <laughs> everything's everything's killing each other the duncan somehow is still there somehow let the duncan stay <laughs> just because it's just because i've had it so long i'm a i am have i have too many corals like that that i just sentimental too sentimental i actually got rid of an elegance to a to a good friend um because I couldn't let it, <laughs> I couldn't let it go to anyone else than I can enough. go visit. Um, <laughs> Still have was... joint custody on the on the elegance <laughs> <Yep>. coral. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, I um, I killed one really early on. Yep. And then I bought a really little one, 
and I was like, this is, I'm going to keep it. It's going to work this time. And it did. And it did. And so it was too sentimental. So to it didn't go. give up on you. So you couldn't give up on it. <laughs> that would <laughs> no, be fair far enough. too harsh. Far well, too that's, harsh. That's nice to see. Tell us about some of the corals and fish that you've got in this system. Because I mean, there's a lot to take in there's there. But tell us about some of your favorites. <laughs> um, well, I've probably, I've probably said it on the other two videos, but it's Clive, my clownfish. Um, Clive, the female clownfish, <laughs> was was not female when I got her. It's um, 2021. Can it refer is. themselves however they like. Be whatever, be whatever it wants. Just be happy, Clive. It's all good. Um, but yeah, she's a, she's kind Oops. of Can't. definitely the sentimental fish out of the lot. Um, she started in a little like all-in-one, just live rock tank. <laughs> yes. And. Here she is, loving her life in a Duncan. Absolutely <laughs> and loving it. The, hum the hammer's definitely um, one of her favourite spots. I think you got a really good photo of her. Yeah, pretty sure I did. I'll get a um, picture of that on screen. And um, the black clown loves the Duncan. <laughs> Just <laughs> loves the Duncan. Um, yeah, <laughs> loves the Duncan. <laughs> Just showing it off. Um, there's three pajamas. There, I've had them for a little bit, but they weren't in the last video. Okay. Being a bit shy. They are being <laughs> shy. They're usually quite, quite out and about. Um, but yeah, no one, no one loves the loves the old pajama. <laughs> I think I think they're pretty adorable. They're, they're a lovely I lo fish. I love all the different kind of tones in them. Like just they look like three different fish. Yes. All in one. Yeah, they're nice and peaceful and... They're nice and peaceful. They're a great nanofish, they don't have to cover a lot of miles. They're a bit aggro to each other, like if one gets a centimetre too close to the other one, they'll oh, be okay. like, thank you very much, <laughs> that is my space. <laughs> and, then, and then they'll kind of give them a little, and then they move out and it's all fine. So There's they've each no, got a, like it's a... It's quite a, a funny aggression. They've split the tank into three and they just have their, their third each. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. It's pretty funny. Um, the other tank, there's a little tang in, a little bristletooth tang, mm -hmm. and a uh, blenny, a uh, blue spot blenny, that has recently decided that my arm's really tasty. <laughs> like, I had, him for, had him for years, and he just doesn't, he's never decided that, but sure. All of a sudden, he likes to have a little bite, it's as you do. It's very, very odd. <laughs> and the clowns in there are very, very weird clowns. That, don't really like me or anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that unusual for clowns, believe it or not. They're, they're often quite uh, antisocial. Yeah, but yeah, Clive's, Clive's lovely. I'm okay with one lovely <laughs> clown. Um, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> yep. The, the other tank over here, there's, I don't know if I, I covered Clarence in the last videos. Clarence is my little special clown. <laughs> it's a Clarence. little bit He's normally up the back there in the uh, torch. In the torch. Yeah, can a just see him up there. Socially not okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's never, I don't know if he'd pair now, but he, he couldn't pair for a while. He'd just be a bit useless. Yeah. But he's happy. It's all about he's the happy. single life. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And then the, there's four, four little cardinals in here that I can't remember the name of because it's long. <laughs> Yeah, they're um, not a pajama cardinal. They're hey, not they're... a pajama cardinal. They're not a bangai. It starts with B. That's all I know. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, that's interesting. I got them from Williamstown. Jake would know. <laughs> Jake will know. Jake, you can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they're f I, I, I have a soft spot for cardinals. They're not like the most incredible looking cardinal, but I do like the kind of black on silver. It's quite they're a They're cool definitely different. Yeah. They're almost a mix between a pajama and a bangai. Yeah, yeah. I say like a black and white cardinal. It's bangai, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah they're super cool. interesting. And then you got just a handy little retirement plan down there with your yellow tang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been um, growing out there for a while. It's got a little <laughs> bit, a little bit bigger than I first. I actually got it free. <laughs> nice. Um, but no, she's staying with me. Yeah, fair cool too. <laughs> be too hard to replace these days. And they're, yeah, they're cool fish. Absolutely. I love, I love a yellow tang. Tell us about some of the corals you have, Mez, because um, 
You got no shortage of them. I have no shortage of corals. Um, <laughs> I don't <laughs> even. I don't know where to start. Um, there's becoming acro dominant in here. There's <laughs> there's Angry John Millie. Yeah, up that's here. stunning up there. Um, I got some top down footage of that, which I'll show. Um, the colours on it are absolutely stunning, and the one I really like is this uh, bright pink one growing from underneath yeah, it there too. It's, just a, it's a ripper. Bright pink Millie. Um, <laughs> just a bright. Just pink a bright pink Millie. Pink Millie. <laughs> Maybe that could be Happy John. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's a there's a blue staggy thing. Yeah, that yeah. I, it absolutely I got as a um, color. I got as a brown out that's wow. done something cool, which is quite fun. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's one of the few like proper, proper blue. Absolutely. Which is always impossible to take a photo of. <laughs> but oh well. <laughs> um, I don't know what else there is. There's uh, there's petrol slick. Nice. It's definitely one of my favourites. Still, I'm still. Still colouring Not up. doing well. Like it's it's come in and out. It's it's looking good, but it, I just prefer a darker base. Fair it enough. It looks nice pink on a little bit of a darker green. Yes. Don't know what it wants, but <laughs> it might be a bit too highlight there. It's kind of getting He's getting everything it can get. <laughs> heavily blasted from the radiant a few centimeters above it. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's what else is there? There's some Phoenix. I love my Phoenix. Yeah, that absolutely Danae. glows up in that corner. They're really contrast against that green piece yeah, that it's next yeah. to. Just um, it's, it's growing into everything, growing into the wall. I can't clean this wall here because of it, but <laughs> oh well. These things <laughs> That's happen. That's all right. <laughs> um, I mean, there's the Duncan. The Duncan's definitely one of my favourites. Definite sentimental um, favourite. It's a beautiful one. Sentimental favourite. Not not beauty favourite, maybe. No, it but is beautiful. <laughs> Very yeah, it's a funny one. I've never tentacles. seen I've never seen one um, do that do that torch like thing. Yeah. So that's quite cool. That's um, really cool. There's this funny red polyp thing up here. <laughs> <laughs> this is this uh, fine really purple like. piece just growing, just coming out of the Monty. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty crazy, hey. And then. I mean, blueberry ice is. I, I named that since last <laughs> since last visit. Blueberry ice, the, um, beautiful. Acropora plana, I believe nice. it is. There we go. Um, that's a very that's a very nice one. It's really hard to make right. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to make right. Um, it's gone in and out. It's kind of happy now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're actually getting a little bit of polyp extension out of the tips, which is. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, there's a little bit there's a little bit going on there. Yeah. Um and then there's some of my um more high end stuff in the frag tank over here. Sure. Um I mean there's a lot of PC rainbow. <laughs> there's a lot of PC rainbow, it grows quick. It's a beautiful um, coral there. Yeah. It's definitely one of my favourites. It's and you've so got it fun to play with. Singing really nicely in this tank too. There's a few pieces in there that uh, the colours of it are just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's um it's a cool, there's some coral that like, it kind of, I mean, it's green where it is. It goes different colors of green. There's PC and it just does everything you want it, like anything you want it to do. You can put it in, um, the ones up top I've kind of done, I've made them end up like red and, or pinky red and yellow. Yep. And then down lower they'll go, they'll get that greeny at the base. Sure. Which is really, I really like coral that you can play with like that. You can really tweak it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's definitely. And yeah, like not necessarily think there is a, there is like a set point. Like you want it to be like that, you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Choose your own adventure coral. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Very cool. I don't know. There's, there's everything else. <laughs> there's everything else in there. There's lots of zoas growing onto the rack, which is Absolutely. one of my favorite things to do is take zoas off racks. <laughs> <laughs> you think I, of plenty I, to pick from I there. I do it to myself. I, I just let them grow on and then, <laughs> and then that's that. <laughs> and then that's that. Then <laughs> you've got to get out there and get the <laughs> and scalpel the out. And the sump. I, I don't know if it was this bad last time. There's the sump. <laughs> Definitely has a few, that is, uh, a few gonna going be, on in there. It's going to be a health hazard when I, when I pull <laughs> that apart. Yeah, there's a few pallies in there. You definitely... Uh, I want to be careful in there, that's for sure. Oh God. <laughs> now, talking about the systems, tell us about how you've got these set up and how they're running 
So there's this system runs into one in, into the just the stock mini reef sump. Yes. Kind of MacGyvered in, <laughs> <laughs> but it works. Yes. And then this one's um, I've kind of built it myself. Um, mostly built the sump and I built the weir and the overflow and the returns and everything. Yes. Um, and I mean, it works. It absolutely <laughs> it works. works. Um, there's always, there's a couple of little things that annoy me about both systems. It's like this one, I have to turn the valve off if I turn the return off because otherwise it takes out like most of the tank. Right, yep, yep. <laughs> um, and this one down, I get a lot of backflow, but you know, it's all right. Yeah, fair call. So these <laughs> None two... of them overflow, so it's okay. That's, well, that's always None a None of the sumps overflow. Always good, you definitely don't want that. These two are running off the one sump, that's right. Yeah. So these two are effectively two displays, and but one system. these ones get a lot more attention than this one. This one does, <laughs> this one does better. This one gets more attention, well, which is always, always seems to be the way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's had a few upgrades since, since last time. Yeah, tell um, us about those. There's an Aquatronica running on it now. Sure. Um, it, was, it was a deal I couldn't, I couldn't refuse. So, um, yeah, that's a fun thing to, to play with. I haven't, I really haven't done, like, what I can do with it yet. I heard you were the Aquatronica expert and everyone <laughs> was coming to you for uh, help and information. I mean, no one has them. No one... They're definitely not know, a common controller. I know a couple of people who have them. They're just not, they're a really quality, really yeah. quality unit, but they're just not pushed. They haven't really had a sales push. Just don't push. have the big marketing so, push behind them, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of an old style thing, but it, it so are all really controllers. works. <laughs> it really works. My, my opinion on reef controllers is they're all old school, and that's my <laughs> criticism of them. They're, I feel like, yeah, they're, they're where home automation was like 15 years ago. <laughs> But um, at the end of the day, you need something that's quality equipment and reliable. And um, I've never heard anyone say anything bad about quality or reliability with Aquatronica. So. Yeah, yeah. The, I judge I judge quality by weight. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The controller, the the board weighs a lot. Yes. So I'm happy. Um, you're you're a cut from my father-in-law. It always says, "Feel the weight in that." He picks something up and goes, "Yeah, that's you can good." Drop quality. it on concrete. It doesn't matter. It's good. <laughs> It's Not that a I've seal done of this, approval. But <laughs> <laughs> there goes yeah, your Aquatronica it's... warranty. No. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd, I'd just mainly use it for pH at this point. Um, sure. And running the running a, um, a homemade calc stirrer. Yeah, tell us about your calc stirrer because that's um, an absolute ripper. It went through two kind of iterations. Um, it it used to run off a microwave uh, motor. Yes. Which they're only like five six RPM, which is a little too, not not as much as not they enough. need. Yes. Um, so we were, I was gonna order a order like an eighteen RPM, and but the stir bar it's really hard to get a super um, stiff yep. stir bar, so it doesn't kind of move yeah, a little bit, and then about. get the whole like perfectly centered. Yes. So it turns around perfectly. So. Um, decided to try out a, a st just a magnetic stir bar yep which does work really well it's sure. a, sometimes a little bit painful to center make sure it centers after each like clean okay but um, it's it's an amazing <laughs> it's an amazing like setup um, any calc stir anything that you're putting calc into the tank is amazing <laughs> yeah okay um, highly recommend highly recommend highly yeah, nice. recommend for people getting a little bit more serious into reefing pH, just go for pH. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, it's always, it's always that thing, don't chase numbers. Yes. But if your pH is not where you want it, then chase pH. Chase pH. <laughs> Mess with pH. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah, it's amazing what it does. It, um, it, it like tripled my alk consumption. Wow. And okay. plus the plus the calc. Fact, so yeah, yeah, wow, amazing. Yeah. And Speaking of numbers and, and pH in particular, what sort of pH are you running your systems at? So this one right now is 8.35, yes. which is pretty, it's all right for the morning. Yes. Um, I've had it, I've had it getting to like four or five at about 12 o'clock, which is what I like, but sure. um, 
you know, things change. Everything, yeah, yeah. There's always variables. <laughs> of Alkalinity course. messes with it. Yep. Everything messes with it. Um, and kind of discovering about the, you have like kind of used calc that doesn't really work anymore. It's really okay. weird. Okay, interesting. Um, after a while of topping up, you'll just end up with stuff that doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just have to clean out the whole system. And right. I did that recently and it has hit it, it has come back, back up back again. Up. Yeah, okay. Which is quite an interesting thing. Like it looks like it's working, it's not working. Yeah, yeah. So what I sort of time frame are you talking between, between um, repli cleaning I and replenishing? I would have had it um, like sitting and re replenishing it yes. over time for only a couple of months. Okay. But oh, well, it's not like you're doing it every week. Yeah, so no, it's, it's not. I don't have to clean it out every yeah, week. Yeah. Um, just top it up every couple of weeks. It's, sure. It's fine. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something that's definitely, um, helped. It really helps with growth. Growth just changes. Like you just, yeah, you notice it like crazy. Impressive. Um, and I also run a CO2 scrubber. Yes. It does. It does a little bit. Does definitely a little bit. not as much as the calc, but it does help. Chips in. Yeah. Um, yeah. The wall is looking forward to a nice drilling through. <laughs> so that'll happen, that'll happen at just some point. Just to avoid having to use the CO2 scrubber, just draw it in I'll probably, air. I'll probably run one anyway, or yeah. at least like a carbon filter, sure. just to make sure nothing gets in. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just, just taking away the CO2 is always a good thing. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a lot, there's kind of a lot going on in this system, definitely compared to this system. Mm -hmm. This system runs yeah. Nothing. Let's swap, let's swap positions. <laughs> Tell us about this system. Um, it runs a, a skimmer that doesn't have a cup on. Yep. And that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. We can see it down here, just uh, just bubbling over there, just. Which is only for pH. That's, I mean, so the fish can breathe sure. as well. Yep. <laughs> but, Always a benefit. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason I run it, running over. I can't run the skimmer cup on because um, my red cup will hate me for it. <laughs> sure, so it's literally just a nutrients thing, yeah? That... A nutrients thing, for sure. Red cap, I say red cap because it's just, you notice it. Week to week, um, it's so obvious. It's just one that changes really quickly. Yep. So it's kind of like a little... Um, it's the canary. Obvious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the canary um, down the frag tank. Yeah. <laughs> Gives you a very quick indication how things are going, and um, you've got a, a which is an interesting. You got a pretty large chunk of it in there, like right at the top, so yep. it's super easy to see uh, yeah. how things and are traveling. Yeah, and especially I think it, I think the fact that it gets so much light yeah. is something that if it was in less light, it would change slower. Sure. But just it's getting blasted by everything, low definitely. nutrients. It just can't deal yeah. with. The nutrient um, almost ends up becoming like almost like a sunscreen for it. It just provides that little yeah, bit of a barrier. Yeah. If you're at zero nutrients and it's getting high light, it's just, uh, it's just burnt. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and everyone that says low nutrients is good, get out. <laughs> just, <laughs> just be happy with your high nutrients, please. <laughs> it is, it is, yeah. Low so nutrients. So in an ideal world, if you could have this tank running at any parameters at all, what would you aim for? <laughs> Not what they're running at right now. <laughs> um, well, for, for nutrients, anything above zero, yeah, okay. anything, any nitrate above zero, I mean, two's, two is all right. It's all, it's hard to say I want uh, to figure. run my tank at yes. because every coral kind of likes different things. For sure. If I have five ppm of nitrate, I'm very happy. Yeah, cool. Um, and phosphate isn't something I really, I really test or strive for it's sure. kind of is in the tank or it isn't in the tank yep so be is it is what it is yep yep fair enough um i like to run this is this for the record this is not what i run okay it's what i like to run <laughs> sure um like you know 420 440 calcium 1400 um magnesium and like 8 9 dkh of alkalinity yep it's kind of that's what, the mark that what, what I try for. That you, you aim um, for? Not what happens. <laughs> we try, we try. We try, we all try, don't worry. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, you can't be too disappointed. You've got some pretty incredible colours in here and looks like some pretty handy growth too. Yeah, um, 
things things have definitely um, improved. Definitely since um, this tank was only just getting started since last video. Yeah. Um, it was definitely going through its not so happy phase. <laughs> it was. Um, it was just establishing. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, acro seems to seems to do okay in here. For sure. Um, I do. I just. I do um, pretty regular dosing. I yep. do do um, acro power. I've started doing acro power. I used to do um, amino and grow like all the time, mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. between dosing other things, I kind of take it off, put it on. Don't have enough to don't have enough heads to do yeah, yeah. both tanks for both. So right now I'm Something just going with with acro power, but we'll get back on <laughs> yeah, all yeah, the sure. other goodness. At some point. Well, it doesn't look like it's um, struggling without it. So, I mean, sometimes, yeah. you know, it, it might just have enough uh, natural organics in there where you yeah, don't well, need to supplement it. Yeah, well, that's the problem is that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like some, some weeks, I'll be like, Dad, you've got you've to gotta keep putting in the acro power. The, <laughs> yep. That's, that's kind of going. what the amino is there for at this point. It's just so the low nutrients doesn't kill everything. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, low nutrients can just go die. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is not a huge system either. Like how many it's liters not, would this be? Neither of them are very big. It's only 220 or so. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I've you've never... got a decent fish load in there for 220 liters. I mean, yeah. with a, a you'd, healthy you'd think size yellow tang. You'd think it would um, push it over the edge and I get nutrients. Maybe look, maybe it will. They've only, those um, new cardinals have only been in there for a couple of weeks. Sure. So maybe it'll push it over the edge. I thought it would work. After a couple of days, I put the cup back on, I left for a week and I came back and the red cap was <laughs> not happy. You're in a position now where you've got technically two systems, but kind of three um, systems you're absolutely cranking along. What's, what's next for Mez? What's your reefing journey going to bring over the next 12 months? Um, so, it, it works as is, it's, it's okay as is. I, um, I thought two systems would be okay. It's okay, I don't really like running two systems. It's, there's, <laughs> too much, there's too much testing. Um, testing is not my favorite thing. <laughs> Definitely not my favorite thing. Um, and just running different, running two sets of equipment I mean, yeah. two sets of everything. Um, two times the water changes, two times the cleaning. And so as that might suggest, I'm gonna run, I'm just gonna run one system, gonna um, upgrade or downgrade, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna say. Sure. Um, it'll be a bigger system though. So more water volume, more, uh, more stability, and more um, effort on the one system. So I'll be able to run more, more toys and more fun on, <laughs> on one system. Nice. Um, so there'll be a frag tank, a Cade 900 frag. Okay, We'll great. run over here with some of the equipment, but then it'll plumb into um, a, new, a new system by Cade, um, the 1200 Peninsula. Ooh, fancy new system. Fancy new system. Fresh off the uh, press. So that's a, uh, what was a 1200 did you say? 1200 long, uh, she's 700 wide and 600 tall. Yeah, beautiful. So very, that'll, very be, nice. that'll be definitely an upgrade from some second hand tanks. Yeah, absolute I mean, stunner. So you're going to run your display as the Peninsula here? The this Peninsula one currently will is. come out here and it'll have It'll run the sump will run everything. Okay, yeah. The yep, sump yep. will run the the frag that Sweet. is set up over here, over in the other room that we'll get to in a second. Sure, yeah. Um, but yeah, it could be a painful a painful situation, a painful <laughs> swap over. Um, I second guess it all the time. Why why am I doing it with such? Why am I taking such, on such a challenge? Um, Happy coral, but um, <laughs> it'll be all right. Of course. It'll be all right. <laughs> of course it will. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be better. Um, definitely won't be better for a first, the first couple months, as it always is, and Sam yeah. will know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going through that uh, hell right now. But that being said, it's actually sometimes you surprise yourself. Systems come up quicker than yeah, you think. Yeah. 
I mean, everyone, it happens different for everyone. Yeah. I think there's an awful lot of luck <laughs> rather than anything else. Sometimes, sometimes it goes smoothly-ish, sometimes it just works, sometimes it is hell for Absolutely. 12 months. Hopefully, um, hopefully it'll turn pretty quickly. I'm going to try and do all the all the good things that you're meant to do. Yep, such as, <laughs> run us through what's the plan such of Such as, um, so the tank over here is mm -hmm. um, set up to just cycle some media. Great. Um, I, yesterday I just moved over some Marine Pure into there just so I can, just made sure it was nice and clean. Yeah. Um, that's a big thing with the new system, mm -hmm. is that um, clean. Keep it all, nice and clean. Not, not necessarily like nutrients clean, yes. pest clean. Pest clean. Just don't want to let pests in. I've had yeah. um, acroating flatworms before. Not, yeah. not a good experience. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, get things, get things nice and clean. Um, and another big thing with the new tank will be, um, it'll be very acro dominated and mm -hmm. I'll be able to cut from the display rather than cut from frags in the yep. frag tank because like having something established in a display it you get better color you get better growth Absolutely. if it's just sitting there rather than getting moved around all the time and yep. it's just it just is a nicer way of doing it and Definitely. I would like a nice clean display kind of kind of make it like an artwork rather than yeah rather than <laughs> like what it is it's rather kind than of, a frag you know, factory type yeah, deal yeah, yeah yeah i mean the f there'll be a frag tank but it's a bloody beautiful frag <laughs> tank um i want to have all the all the cables hidden and sure. stuff who knows how that'll end up <laughs> you got <laughs> you got to aim for it though that's for you sure got to aim for it um should going to try and do some special things with the controller with the acrotronica yeah nice um and different testers, alkalinity testers, hopefully. Yeah, cool. Once I have a little bit of money, <laughs> not so that I have any right now. Um, well, I mean, you've got no shortage of uh, frags here that I'm sure uh, could be uh, cleared out for uh, anyone watching at home. There is a lot of frags to go just to um, mainly make the move easier. Yeah, the less you can take across, also, the easier it's going to be. Um, I don't have any money to do it. <laughs> a little bit of money would help. Absolutely. So if people were interested in buying these frags, what, what do they do? What are, where do they go? Um, you can go to my Facebook page, Fragmental Mez Frags. Awesome. If you want anything. Um, yeah, there's a, little, there's a little bit of stuff to go. I'm definitely going to try and keep a lot of it. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, you're not going to start fresh, but I mean, yeah. yeah. If you yeah. can cut down on a few pieces, why not? I mean... It'd be nice, like it'd be kind of nice to start fresh. Um, like you started pretty, pretty I started damn fresh. fresh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like it'd be nice, but I just can't bring myself to do it. No, fair call. I just, like, yeah, you know, you end up with bits of coral, and if I, yeah, if I got rid of it all, it would take so, it would take yeah, far definitely. too long to get it all back again. Definitely. So, yeah, I'll try and try and get most of it over. Um, there's lots of sentimental pieces. <laughs> yeah, of course, you want to carry those across with you for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very nice. Well, I'm sure uh, people will have seen no shortage of amazing pieces um, throughout these videos that they'll want to um, get their hands on. And if they check out the uh, Fragmental Mez page, you'll be able to see the things listed there. And if you don't see things listed there, they can always uh, shoot a message to that page um, and say that you saw something on the video and do you have any frags of that? I know personally from experience when I shut down my tank I sold so much coral before I could even notice a dint in the display so um, I suspect that you'll probably go through the similar sort of fashion yeah, there. Yeah I mean uh, I, got a, I got rid of so much stuff in this tank um, recently. Yeah you said in the last couple of weeks this. This has <laughs> gotten so much coral out of it and, it's still and absolutely I've just kind of moved everything out and then there's no space again. It grows, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, which is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, space is always, always an issue. I'll upgrade to a bigger system and then three seconds later, there'll be no space. I'll be <laughs> crying for help. Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well, these things happen.
All right. Well, that was awesome, Mez. Thank you so much for showing me through your uh, current three tanks and also uh, leading into the future with your two new systems, which is super exciting. I can't wait to see the, um, the Cade showroom in uh, another year's time. So um, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Mez, for having us. And uh, like I mentioned before, if you're interested in any of the corals you see here and you want to help fund Mez's future plans with these two incredible Cade systems, be sure to jump onto Frag Mental Mez Facebook page. I'll put a link down in the description. As always, if you have any questions for myself or for Mez, pop them down in the comments section. If you don't know, I personally respond to each and every one that gets put in there. So if you do want to get hold of me, that is the best way. And uh, last but not least, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, it goes a long way to helping me out personally. Other than that, guys, we'll wrap things up till next time. Stay safe, keep reefing. See ya. <laughs> Good one.